hello folks welcome to my new video in this video I will show you what a filter design pattern is and when one should use it what are the benefits it can give us and how we can make our code more maintainable with the help of filter design pattern let's understand it with a live example so let's say you are a laptop seller you have a lot of stock of laptops and when a customer comes to you and asks for a laptop with certain configuration how would you filter out the laptop and give the user the choices that these are the range of laptops from which you can select one right so there in this scenario there can be multiple requirements user may ask for mac i7 processor 4 gb ram 320 gb hard disk so th there can be multiple combination of requirements right so in those scenarios how would you filter out the laptops with those requirements and give the customer the choices to choose now let's see how we do it so what you will have to do is you have to have some criteria from which you can filter out the laptops so let's say you want to build certain criteria based on the configuration of laptops which you have already have in your stock so for that you need to create a i criteria interface which will take the laptops and apply a criteria and return the filtered laptops back so this is what it does so i have implemented multiple criteria like mac ubuntu i7 processor 4gb ram and so on and also to combine multiple criteria you i have created and criteria or criteria and criteria will take multiple criteria and make sure that the laptops that it filters has all the criteria that you have mentioned or criteria is something where user has has choice of like either this configuration or that configuration so in that case as well you can use or criteria and filter out the laptops so there is a laptop scanner which will use these criteria and filter out the laptops and give the filtered laptops back let's see how we will implement it in the code okay so i have this criteria interface which takes the laptops and gives the laptop back i have multiple criteria implemented already so if you can see i have and criteria hard disk hard disk 500 gb i5 processor i7 processor macintosh ram 2 gb and so on right so if we take one of the criteria let's say hard disk 250 gb so what it does is it takes the laptop and on each laptop applies a filter and checks okay hard disk should be of size 250 gb and collects it into a list right and if you see macintosh it does the same thing it takes each laptop which we have supplied and checks for the operating system that it's mac right what is laptop laptop is a simple model which has an id hard disk processor ram operating system and screen size right now let's see how we filter out these laptops how we use these criteria now in the main class i have few some laptops so if you see this laptop factory it manufactures the laptops in bulk i have just added the seed data where i have these many laptops with different conf configurations i have mac ubuntu windows and different rams different screen screen sizes different processors rams etc right so let's see what we do in the main so if you notice i have this and criteria and with that i filter out hard disk of 250 gb macintosh and i5 processor now this search criteria i call the method meets and pass the laptops which is given back from the factory and i get the filtered laptops back and then i print all the laptops let's take a look what would be the result with this configuration 
I am gonna run it. Let's see, it has compiled and it has run. So if you see, it has filtered two laptops for me. So I said it should be Mac, both are Mac, right? I said hard disk size should be 250 GB. It is 250 GB indeed. i5 processor, yes, i5 processor, right? Let's say I want to search for Windows laptop. I can say Windows. Okay, I don't have criteria for Windows. I can create one, but let's say for our demo, I use Ubuntu. I want Ubuntu. Now I run this and it will give me both the laptops with the Ubuntu operating system. Now let's say I want i7 processor, right? So I'll add i7 processor and I want mm, 4 GB RAM. 4 GB RAM 4 GB yeah and let's run it so if you notice I don't have any laptop with such configuration let's try with 2 GB if we have one no I don't have that as well and that you can see in this that I don't have a i7 processor with 2 gb ram i have 8 gb instead so let's search for i5 and 2 gb that would work for us right so let's say i5 now if i search it will give me one laptop pack that it has ubuntu and it has 250 gb ram hard disk and processor i5 ram 2 gb right so that's how you can implement the filter criteria. I have AND criteria. You can also implement the OR criteria and use that to filter out your laptops. There can be multiple such situations. Let's say you have a stock of books, right? And there are multiple customers who want books with a different author, different genre like fiction or things like that right adventure fiction whatever so there also you can apply this filter pattern and let's say you are building a site like flipkart or amazon there you have a lot of articles or lot of products where users can search there as well you can these use this kind of design pattern i hope you like this video please like share comment and you can see the code which I have showed here is present in the description below. I have also mentioned my blog. You can go through that as well. Thank you very much for watching this video.